Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 27th, 2016. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. This is a Saturday and we have the Moon in Cancer. And when the Moon in Cancer, when the Moon is in Cancer, it's the best time to be with people we love, with people we feel comfortable with, with people that, or not necessarily with people in an environment that we can just relax and be ourselves and reconnect to our chargers. That's why home and family is so much connected with the sign of cancer. It's a time that we can all be more sensitive and, and be softer and be more feminine and enjoy that part of us much better and these kinds of activities in our lives. And this Moon in Cancer sextile series, which talks about emotional nourishment and nourishment in general. And later on, it also trines Juno, we talk, we, Juno that talks about home, family, and long-term relationships. Commitment, in a sense, to people we love. So it's a great time to be among people that we love. Take that, plus the fact that Venus is conjuncting Jupiter and Mercury in the sky. Again, telling us, hey, be with people that you love. Go and mingle around people. Socialize. There's so much that you can give and receive through that right now. And that can counteract the more stressful influence that there is in the sky right now, which is the Mars conjunct Saturn squaring Neptune, which is all about us feeling the boundaries and the differences and feeling the stress and the frustration and feeling isolated and sometimes not understood and moody and falling into despair. And we could vent out all that frustration and despair through actions that are not necessarily positive, not necessarily at all positive for ourselves, for our future, or for our community. And we could see that in, in our lives, people around us, or even hearing on the news, people who do desperate things out of frustration and misunderstanding and feelings of isolation. So coming together has a larger effect. It's about, it's about us understanding that we can reconcile our differences through communication, that we can lift each other up through bonding together, that we could deal with all these challenges that we have on our plate right now together better than we can alone. So in the world right now, we could see two kinds of people. People drawing towards isolation and heterogeneity on the one end, and people coming together and globalizing on the other hand. So, which group are you going to be part of? Thank you for listening. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.